Hey guys, Ike here from Mike'sOutdoors.com. I'm here today to do a review on the Hawk Crawler. Okay, as you can tell by the title, I had some trouble with this thing, and I'm going to go over all the trouble that I had with it. Most of the trouble that I had with it has not been with the cart itself. It has been with the customer service from Hawk. Um, this cart is actually an amazing cart. The customer service, though, is terrible. And I'll show you the parts that I what, I what I ran into later. But let's go over the specs of this cart. This has a 360 degree rotating axle on, for it to mount your tires on. You can lift this thing up and you can rotate those things around and they independently swivel. So I'll show you here, let me lift this side up. You can see, let me lift this side up so you can see. You can see those tires will actually go up and down. They'll go 360 degrees all the way around. They rotate right here on this pivot. Those tires are big, oversized tires. It has four tires on it, which is something that I really uh, like about any cart that I use. My other cart, I actually added tires to the front of it because I got sick of it only having two tires on it. These tires also have a polyethylene or polyurethane foam inside of them, so when you inflate them, you're going to see a white foam in there. Mine came um, not inflated, so I'm assuming all of them, all of them are not going to come with air in them. I aired them up to 30 pounds of pressure and they have a polyethylene keep getting that wrong call your thing foam inside of them it's basically going to work like your green slime it's going to keep them from running flat if they get punctured that polyethylene polyurethane will fill that up that hole up and it should keep them from going flat 500 pound capacity for this thing and it has this mesh uh, material in here to put your gear to put your deer or to put whatever you're hauling around this is not only used for for deer you can use it around the house as well you can use it for hauling just pretty much anything in it. And that's another thing I really like about this. It has sides on it. When you put a deer in here, it's not going to want to fall out. I like the handle on here because you can get step inside this thing, put your hands there, and you can hold that up. And you can actually push this thing rather than trying to pull it. So I really like being able to push on this thing as well. Um, it will fold down. It's got a couple pins back here that you can take out and you can fold this part down. Got a couple knobs right here that you can loosen those knobs and you can take this handle off. So really, really good design. We're going to show you some tests that we put this thing through. We ran over this log. We did some figure eights with it and it is very maneuverable. So let's get to the bat. Um, this thing came in. I ordered this thing from Amazon and I paid $155 for it. Now the price on this thing does fluctuate. I've seen it down as low as $129. And I've seen it up as high as 169 so the price on this thing does fluctuate when I ordered this thing in it was missing a bunch of parts it was missing the pin right here that allows this thing to lock up in position and it was missing it didn't have any carrier bolts with it it was missing one of these carrier bolts and this one of these knobs right here so I uh, began looking this thing over when I was putting it together and you'll see on the back side here You guys might not be able to see it, but it has two holes right here and My handle only has one and they did not line up So there's two holes internally that set right about here and well they sit right here These two holes set right here and then it had the handle only had one hole in it and it didn't line up so I called Hawks customer service and I asked them basically to send me some new parts. That's all I wanted. I didn't even care about getting a new handle because I can drill a hole and I can put it in here. All I wanted was the carrier bolt and the knob for this and I wanted the two pins back here. And Hawk would not send me those parts. Um, they said that the only option that they had was for me to send the cart, pack the cart up and send it into them and then they would replace it. Which that's great, but I had to pay for shipping to get this thing there. I don't know if you guys have ever shipped anything this big, but that's gonna be pretty expensive. You know, I already paid $150 for this thing. And on top of it, I was gonna to have to pay another $25 to $35 to ship this back to Hawk for them to get me a replacement for it um, for $20 worth of parts. So I thought that was BS. So I ended up going to Lowe's and buying both of these pins and putting in there and buying another carrier bolt and another handle and putting in there and then taking a drill and drilling the hole to put this handle on that was the best recourse for me that was the cheapest recourse for me was to just do it myself so but unfortunately there's a lot of guys out there that don't have the ability you don't have the knowledge to do that you know they don't know low sell stuff like that but um, some guys out there can't do that kind of stuff for themselves so it's kind of a 
kind of a bullshit move by Hawks customer service to demand that you pack it up, pay for shipping to get it back to them. All I wanted was a few parts. And the funny thing is, I didn't realize they were the same company, but I ran into this exact same problem. If you follow me on Facebook, you'll remember I ran into this exact same problem with a tree stand. Um, I bought a big game tree stand in the summer of two or spring of 2019. It was early in the year and we took it out and it was already together. Uh, I didn't have to put it together. We took it out, unboxed it and put it in a tree. Now fall of that year we went out and we hunted it and we noticed it was noisy and it was it just felt weird and just something about the tree stand wasn't right. So I took it down and brought it home and what I found on this tree stand was when the guys had put it in their welding fixture, I've done a lot of welding in my career, I've been a welder for since I was a teenager and every time that they, when you're doing production welding, you have a fixture and the fixture will have stops and clamps. You put things in there and you push it up to the stops, you clamp it down into place, you weld it up, it produces consistent parts that are consistent every time you weld them up. Apparently someone didn't get their part in the fixture correctly because instead of setting even like this, the seat set like this. One of the sides was actually down almost a half inch. So the seat was crooked. And when you strapped it to the tree, it was just making all kinds of weird noise. So I called Big Game at the time, and unbeknownst to me, they're the same company that owns Hawk. And they told me the exact same thing. Well, we can't send you a new seat. Um, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to box the tree stand up and send it back for a replacement. My dog wants in the house. It's hot out here, isn't it? So overall, the customer service is pretty disappointing. Uh, for something that I just needed a handful of parts and just needed a seat on the tree stand, it would have been pretty simple for them to box one up, send it to me, and I could have put it all back together and problem solved. But instead, I had to go out and fix both things myself. The tree stand, the seat still sits like this, but I ended up cutting the bottom of it off and making it as even as I possibly could. It's not really even, but I made it to where the seat sets even at least and it sets up against a tree stand even and now it doesn't make noise and it's a little bit more comfortable you don't feel like you're siding sideways all the time and as far as the hot crawler goes i had to go to, to lowe's spend an additional 15 to 20 dollars take a drill bit drill it out and put the handle on there so pretty disappointed with the customer service overall now as far as the cart sale itself goes i'll show you some of the testing i did and show you how well this thing actually works Okay, so what we're going to use to test this out is on the bottom I've got a bag of my wife's garden soil and this is two cubic feet of miracle Grow garden soil and I've got three bags of this uh, 0.5 cubic foot uh, bag of drainage rock. These weigh about 25 to 30 pounds a piece. So I'm assuming that we've got about 100 to 110 pounds um, of weight on here with everything, which is about the average deer that we're going to get here in Missouri. This is your average doe. Of course, it ain't going to be like it would be for you know a big buck or some of you guys up in uh, areas that get you know your 175 200 pound deer or your mule deer but this is about average of what i card out around here so i figured this was a fair estimate we're going to be running over some logs and then we're going to do some figure eights with it and just try to see how maneuverable this thing is all right first two logs i got set up here is one pretty small and one pretty good size one we'll see how what it takes to get over the top of it. Okay, for this test, I'm just going to simply go out and do some figure eights and see how maneuverable this thing is. Pulling slightly uphill, too.
Okay, so you can see there it rolls right over this big, ran over this big log, ran right over this big log very, very easily. Had no issues getting it over this big log. The design, the way the, the wheels pivot, they work fantastic. The way the handle works, being able to get inside it and being able to push with that is, is fantastic as well. The other thing you can do is you can attach this to an e-bike and you can attach this to a four-wheeler very, very easily to use this to drag behind your four-wheeler. So it's a great way to get deer out. It's a great way to get get gear in. It's great to haul firewood around the house and it's great to haul, uh, you know, to haul things around your yard. My wife has me hauling uh, garden soil and rocks and stuff like we had. I got those, those, my wife had me hauling those around. That's why I went ahead and put those in here to test them out. It equaled out about the same that a deer weighed out so it works fantastic but i will definitely be steering clear of any hawk products or big game products or muddy products in the future because of their customer service i understand that stuff goes wrong i've been in the welding industry for 20 years i've been in the production game for a long time and i understand stuff happens mistake happens but to me customer service is is very very important a good experience with someone it will get you a customer for life and a bad experience will get you a guy who goes and runs his mouth off about how bad your customer service is like i'm doing right now so a simple you know gesture of sending me a box full of parts or sending me a new seat would have made me a hawk muddy big game customer for life now they got a guy who will not buy a single thing from them ever again and will be spending my dollars elsewhere so i would not recommend this car is fantastic but it's not worth the risk. It's not worth the headache of putting up with their customer service. Same way with the tree stands. Tree stands are fantastic. Everything that they make. I've got some Hawk bow hangers that I absolutely love. I've got some Hawk gear that just, it's, it's amazing. It's great stuff. But their customer service is absolutely terrible. And if you have any issues with their products, you're gonna run into the, the, the bad customer service. And for me, it's not worth taking a risk. So my money is, I, I work hard for my money. And when I buy something, I want it to work and if it doesn't work all i ask is that the company fixes it if they won't fix it then i won't do business with them again so this is the muddy or the i'm sorry this, this is the hawk crawler great great car um and just i don't recommend buying it because of hawk's customer service so for more product reviews how-to videos you can check us out at ikesoutdoors.com follow us on social media you can check us out on instagram and facebook under ikes outdoors and for more product or i already said that so um so check us out there on instagram be sure to like subscribe and share these videos and we really appreciate you guys watching be sure to spread our videos around be sure to share them on your social media and tag us on that we really appreciate it if you guys do that thanks for watching